I think my camera is finally working because it's actually lighting up now, whereas it wasn't at all before. Um, well, let's just get right into this. Let's play some Pokemon. I haven't played any Pokemon in a little while, so let's do that. I haven't played anything in a little while. Honestly, even like outside of streaming, ooh. Let's just move that down where it belongs. Hi, that's a little better. But yeah, uh, first of all, I mentioned this last week, we are in a new space. I also haven't, like, centered my camera. Let's fix that. There we go. Hi. So, first of all, I'm a little closer to my computer than I was before, so my camera looks a little better. I'm not tiny, Ren. My camera was just off. Let's fix that a bit, too. There we go. Hi! So, <laughs> now I'm glad that I put on a respectable shirt for the stream tonight. <laughs> okay, but let's play some, uh, let's play some Pokemon. I haven't played any games in a while. I've been playing a little bit of Animal Crossing here and there, but I haven't really been, like, gaming. I've mostly been just, like, reading. Um, but yeah. This is weird, isn't it? I've got an actual, like, just, like, nothing behind me. There's just a wall behind me. And I am very sure you guys can hear the- there's a vent, like, directly above me right here. <laughs> um, but I'm pretty sure you guys can probably hear but that's fine. I am not tiny. How dare you? Okay, where were we? I don't actually remember what I was doing. Oh yeah, head to Wedgehurst's Pokemon Research Lab. Where is that? Wedgehurst? I'm in Wedgehurst. I'm like 99% sure I'm in Wedgehurst. Am I like just going the wrong place? That's a clothing store. Yeah, how dare you? Um, also, this is probably not super noticeable on camera, but since I haven't been leaving my house, um, I stopped using any kind of hair product, so my hair is just, like, super curly, <laughs> um, and I can't do anything about it. I took a straightener to it, and it went back to this within an hour. So this is my life now. Goblin. You're a goblin. But yeah, let's play some Pokemon. I haven't played Pokemon in a bit. I haven't played anything in a bit. I didn't art stream my last stream, if that uh, explains how little I've actually been playing games recently. Oh, this is the research lab. It's got a Pokeball on it, it's gotta be. You see that? You see that behind her? I want that forever. I want that in my house. Just all the- all those bookshelves. Give me all them bookshelves. Oh, that's nice. You should art stream more. I will be. Um, actually, I'm thinking that might be what I turn my Wednesday streams into temporarily, um, until I beat Roxas. Just doing some, some nice, nice fun art streams on Wednesdays. How's that sound? Okay. 
Let's go fuck up their day. I hate, I hate their names. I fucking hate their names. I'm sorry, I, I can't. I can't, y'all. Their names are so dumb. Yeah, let's just call them weirdos. I'm into that. their brother Gunther. God. <laughs> yeah, we've already got Ethernatus. Also, I have a I have a floppy sweater on tonight. I have a cozy sweater on. Um because despite being directly underneath the heat vent, it is cold down here. So, um, you're gonna see a lot more cozy sweaters for the next little while. <laughs> Ooh, I'm gonna move my camera down one more notch. It's a little high still. That's better. Oh my god, my hair's getting long. <sighs> okay. Y'all remember when I started streaming and my hair was just like, and that was it. Okay, Turfield. To Turfield. We're gonna go see Milo. Right? Milo's in Turfield? Oh, no, no, no. I believe Milo's in Turfield? That sounds right. Yeah, Milo's in Turfield. So, I know the majority of us are cooped up inside. Uh, how's everyone been doing with that? I haven't streamed in a little bit, or in a few days, so I, I feel like I should ask that, because I would, I would like to, I would like to know, I am curious. All I've been doing is playing D&D, &D, eating snacks, and reading books. So, it has been a while. Hanging on to my sanity somehow, mood. I... I've been reading. We've been, we've been reading. A lot. This is the book. I started this book at like five o'clock and I'm already like a third of the way finished it. So that's my life. Baron knows that's my life. I just have more time for it now. I literally curl up in bed and read books from like midnight until 10 a.m. And then I come downstairs and read books from 10 a.m. to midnight. <laughs> I stop reading books for like maybe three hours a day. Which is not, not good. Is not good. But you know what? We got book, y'all. We got plenty, plenty of book. Ooh, okay. I'm into that. I, I have it right here. I have it hiding behind my camera. I have it hide it, well, under my camera? Weird, weird description. Also, I don't know if I've shown anyone before, but I have these totally sick bookmarks. I don't know if I've shown these off on stream before, but I have bookmarks that actually match up with each other.
and they're super rad. They actually like match up together. And I love them. I got them from a con and the person had them as, um, of course I would love to help. Yeah. So the person had them as like a, uh, you could just get one of them or you could get the set, but they had, they did metal, like it's their, their metal. They're one of those people who do metal screen printing. So I was, I was super happy. Yeah, why would you separate them? You can't. Legally. You legally cannot. Uh, we're talking about Taki and Mitsuha from Your Name. Because I have bookmarks of them. Hello! Legally cannot be separated. Ooh, okay. That might be a movie night we have to do sometime then. I would love to have like, I know other streamers who do like movie nights and stuff and I would love to do that sometime too. I'm not sure like all the legality and all that around it though, unfortunately. I actually went to see Weathering With You in theaters. It was good. Oh, hello. Uh... Sonic is actually... Um... Available now. Ooh, let's move this down here. Let's move this over here, because we're doing raids. Who the fuck has a flash? Excuse me, who the fuck has a flapple? I love flapple. I would die for flapple. Hurt, ain't it? Oh, bye, Flapple. Bye, baby. Also already finished a series. That is true. Um, we need another series to watch back. with that is something that might be on your Netflix may not be on mine. Um, 100? I heard about that one. I'm not sure. I was gonna start watching uh... That one that had Elijah Wood in it. Uh, Dirk Gently's. We also do need to catch up on Miraculous Ladybug. Oh, 
like heroes. I also really need to watch Umbrella Academy. I do hear Troll Hunters is really good too. Um, and I, I have a thing for those kind of dumb cartoons like that. I can't, I can't trust, I can't trust again when it comes to Shadowhunters. I can't trust again. Beck, you know why I can't trust again with that series. I have... I have a thing about... I feel like I should explain my thing about Shadowhunters because I was one... I was part of the target demographic for those books when they were first coming out. So like, City of Bones came out when I was like 14 or 15, which is like smack dab in the middle of the the target demographic for those books. It was just after Twilight ended. It was post Harry Potter, like all the all the big ones. Believe it or not, I was not a Percy Jackson kid until like I read the books like two years ago. So like I missed out on that whole thing. My sister was into it, but I wasn't. But I was a Harry Potter kid, and then I got into Twilight really hard when I was in like seventh or eighth grade because all the girls in my school were into it. And it was a book. So I was like, I'll be, I'll, I'll hang out with all the other people when they're talking about books, obviously. I was a fucking nerd. Um, and then one of the girls in my grade eight class, introduced me to uh, City of Bones. She showed me the first book. And I read it and I was like, oh, these are awesome. These are gonna be like the next Twilight and all that because that was, that was the thing. We were all trying to find the next Twilight and all that shit. And... Oh, the fucking nerds are back. Okay. That is absolutely not what that means, sir, but, uh, nice try. Um. Sure, calling the kettle black there, huh? <laughs> Pot sure calling the kettle black there, huh? Why are you telling me your evil plan? Why are you telling me your evil plan? Do these guys know how to be villains? Oh no. Nintendo, that's not okay. Nintendo, that's not okay. Quick punch the mother monologuing. <laughs> yeah mood. You mean what I wanted to do to Bay Day? Now I just feel bad for him. Like...
huh? Who do not what? And then I feel bad for Beide. Like, I wanted him to be an asshole the entire game, but honestly, like, he's just trying out here. And I feel kind of bad for him. Okay, where are we going next? Oh, we're just leaving the building. He did make Hop sad, which is absolutely illegal. Um... We did also make Hop sad, but we feel bad about it. As, as aforementioned, it is illegal to make Hop sad. That is the law of the land. Yeah, but he kind of cheered us on when we were kicking his brother's ass. So I don't, I don't feel so bad about that one. I absolutely do not feel bad about kicking Leon's ass. <laughs> Pierce, what are you doing here? <laughs> yeah, valid. Oh, he's not the gym leader anymore! Marnie took over! Oh! Of course you are. You are her brother. Um, dude. <laughs> Repressed teenage angst involved with the ass kicking of Leon. Look, usually I feel bad. I I would feel worse. I would feel worse kicking Leon's ass. Um. I love that they, they admit that they're weirdos, by the way. Like, Game Freak is absolutely not um, disguising the fact that these two are some fucking kooks. Okay, let's go beat up some more Dynamaxes. Hulbury. Where the fuck is Hulbury? Over here. Let's go over here first. I love beers. Oops, I accidentally clicked the stick. Um But yeah, I was I was talking about Shadow Hunters. I actually have all the books in a box like right there right up there and i love the series they're they're trashy teen novels i will not deny that they are teen fantasy trash and the author is kind of shitty because apparently there were a lot of legal issues and there's look all i'll say is there was a lot of weird shit around those books but that movie Oh, that movie. That movie came out around the time... Oh, hello. Things? Oh, they can walk! They can walk. So, that movie came out around the time when I was actually still a legitimate fan of those books. Bill sent me a furret gif. I can't not. They can walk. They can walk. 
Sorry. Sorry. Oh, it's such a good song. Um. Oh. I'll I'll share the Furret Walk song. Because Vil unleashed dark magics that he does not know of. I'm just gonna post it in the chat here. Excuse me. Anyone who uh, would like to be introduced to the Furret Walk song, please feel free to check the chat. I'm... My camera's backwards from the way that I am, so everything's weird for me right now. Um, but yes, as I was saying, I liked the um, Shadow or the original series was called The Mortal Instruments. Um, I was so into that series when I was a kid. Like, I was in the writing fanfic kind of age group kind of thing like I wrote a lot of fucking fanfic that will never be unearthed because I'm pretty sure it has been deleted from the internet don't try and find it it no longer exists um I used to be part of our P group like I fucking love that series and then the movie came out they cast one of my favorite actors as my favorite character no, 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 no. Mortal Instruments is a uh, City of Bones, City of Ashes, like that series. Uh, the Shadow Hunters. Cassandra Clare is the author. They're decent enough books if you like teen trash, um, urban fantasy kind of stuff, stuff to do with like angels and stuff like that. I have one main issue with it. And that is what they did to that poor, poor movie. There was only one movie. There was only one movie for, uh, for this series. And it was so bad, I walked out of it after I got a free movie ticket for it. I worked at a movie theater. This was when I was in grade 12. I worked at a movie theater at the same time that series, that movie came out. And I was big into the series. To the point where I took home Bard of the Standee. That was my, my favorite character. Because it was my favorite actor playing my favorite character in the book. Um, who is, if no one minds my, minor spoilers, if you don't want spoilers, uh, skip ahead to whenever the text moves ahead on the screen. But it ain't gonna be too much. Um... But the reason I loved this series is because they didn't pull a love triangle with the main character, her love interest, and her best friend in the book. Her best friend is my favorite character. He is a fucking nerdy d, &D dude who likes comic books and like all that kind of stuff and he is- he's awesome. He's my favorite character. He gets like badass levels in the later books but that's like a thing. Um, but yeah, he's my favorite character because he is there by her side the entire series, and I love it. I absolutely love that kind of stuff. You, you got your best friend, um, they actually at one point in the third book or something like that, when she's broken up with her love interest, they go into a whole conversation of him going like, yeah, I was into you at one point, but like, it was when we were teenagers, and I'm not really feeling that anymore, like, I got a badass girlfriend, I'm happy, <laughs> all that kind of shit. And then, in the movie, oh, in this movie. So what they did in the movie is they decided to have a moment where the two of them are like talking about something and he gets like whatever because she just met this guy and she's really into him and that's what happens in the books and he is nowhere near this scene in the books. But they decided to give him a scene where he straight up yells at her 
and ends his whole yelly, angry rant with, I'm in love with you and all that. And I straight up got out, got up and walked out of the theater because they fucked up my boy so bad. That's my rant over. I was so mad. I was so tilted. I was so mad. I love... I love books. I love movie... I don't love movies about books. Th I... I was gonna say I love movies about books. I do not love movies about books. <laughs> there are very few good movies about books. <laughs> a book recommendation. That is a dangerous game in this house. What do you got for me? If it's Golden Compass, I have them in my, uh, in my sacks back here. Ow. Why did you hurt my dog? Superpowers. I have never heard of that. What do we got here? Let me pop in the good reads. Okay. Drew Hayes? Interesting. Oh, they're a web novel series. Interesting. Okay. I'll have to take a look. I'll have to take a look into it. I'm, as you know, anyone who knows me, I'm always looking for more things to read. Um, I really want to have, like, there are some authors that are actually allowing people to live stream reading their books right now. And I may do something like that while we're all cooped up here. Um, that is a large Gyarados. Hey Garrett, how's it going, man? I was talking about books. Because when is Renee not talking about books? Um. But yeah, um. Neil Gaiman in particular, like, basically put a blanket on, like, hey, if you wanna stream or, like, do anything like that and read one of my books, go for it. And I might do that with good omens we'll see what happens i really like that book um for day perfect one i haven't read it in a long time i will i gotta get out of the cutscene first huh? album oh she's pretty New World is good too. Nice! She is very pretty. Um... I have it! I just haven't read it in a very, very long time. Um... I need to read a lot more, like... This is gonna sound really terrible. I haven't read a lot of, like, classics and stuff like that. I read Gone with the Wind when I was, like... 15? 
which I don't know why. I found like a shitty paperback copy of it somewhere in my house. I was probably like my mom's or something. And read it when I was a kid. Um Foundations, that's valid. Um if anyone ever wants book recs, you can always let me know. <laughs> always. I'm always open to telling people more about books. It has been literally my job. Okay, I'm trying to like center myself in the camera. It's not happening. Hey, Kabu. I've heard about that one. I've heard about that. Swordbert and... Wait. Swordward and Shieldbert exist? Uh, therefore... N no. No, they don't. Oh, excuse me. I am happy to help, Kabu. Besides, I have a water type. <laughs> oh, oh, this Torkoal is about to get his shit fucked up. <laughs> I swear to god if Hop takes the uh the Dynamax again, I'm gonna kick his ass. Okay, ow, also rude. Oh shit, my camera's over important information. PCs just use like whatever the front of their party is. Ah. Oh. Oh no, that was me missing. No, no, no. Oh, I didn't even notice that I could do it turn one. Oops. I am blind. Do we need more light? No, no, no. No, 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 no burn. No burn, no! Well, I'm a dumbass. Let's throw this in. Whoops. Well, I never said I was good at this game. Absolutely not. That is completely inaccurate, and we both know that. Sweet. 
this whole thing gonna be like... out a lot yet there is a lot you have not figured out yet buddy to say he might be reading but his comprehension ain't that great doesn't mean you know shit though having no morals doesn't mean that you're reading everyone also it didn't even fucking work <clears throat> because I still uh totally pulled one over on you until we actually got on the boat You think you're ever gonna uh, inside pass my deception score, but okay. No, thank you. Also, uh, let me note, there wouldn't have been a need for a deception score, um, if you hadn't pointed a fucking gun in my face. You know. There is that. have a uh, steel types don't they
These guys have steel types! Excuse me. Why are you doing this? honest with you here. Yeah, he lied. But, at the same time, it was straight up because he didn't want people to think of him as a different person than what he likes to portray. Because... Sorry, my throat's like bugging me. Because he is trying to move past that. There's a difference between... <laughs> There's a difference between, li between lying to save your own ass and lying because you're trying to uh, move past something that happened that shouldn't matter anymore. Sage. <laughs> we're just ha we're just having a, a nice discussion. Oh, that dude blade got fucked up. Throw some gasoline onto that fire. Oh boy, what do you got? that despite bold-faced lying to the entire party, Lark is still one of the most trusted members of it. 
funny how that works when you're not a piece of shit. Which is terrifying, by the way. You hit my dog, sir. You hit my dog. How dare you? Yeah, like, you teamed up too! <laughs> the fuck? The fuck? No, no, no. Well, that's just rude. Well, that's just rude. Oh no. Hacky sack with consequences. <laughs> oh no. Sonia, no. Oh my god, I'm just trying to talk to Sonya. Sonya? Sonya? out of water. Yeah, I was about to say, I think you're fine, dude. Marty's gonna be fine because there's no power spot there. You can't Dynamax around there. I have to go heal. I do not. I love when it does that. I love when it heals for me. Okay, let's go to Hammerlock first. 
I'm sure there's probably an order you're supposed to do these in, but uh, I'm just gonna go to whatever the closest one is. Because I'm lazy. Also, I really need to buy the DLC this week. They put out the DLC early, or they're going to. Oh shit, there's more than one now? Hmm, okay. Oh shit, it's just me. Oh god. Hello, Haxorus. Hello, sir. Okay, this might work. No, you stop right there. We're not starting that tonight. You stop right there. You stop right there, you menace. tonight. Ooh. <gasps> oh, fuck yeah. Okay, bring that up to 1d8. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll go with that instead. Sage is right. Ow. <laughs> Y'all, I'm a squishy. Don't take my health bar. <laughs> just a d4. Oh no. No, that's too low. shit.
Oh right, fighting types. Why did I think this is ground? What am I doing tonight? I finally got the book for the game that I'm running soon. I finally got in my uh my water deep book. Water deep. Oh, it's God's mistake. But yeah, I'm gonna be running uh, Water Deep Dragon Heist for a group, so I had to pick up the book for that. God, why are D&D books so expensive? I might die here. Ow! What the fuck is this thing? Congleder. Oh, excuse me. Oh god, oh god. He's gonna squish my bug. I was about to ask what I am, but no, I'm a bard. We all know this. We all know this by now. Renee's a bard. We, we all know that I am a bard by this point. gonna die yeah. you're gonna die again I'm sorry I'm sorry friend oh but it's gonna die
Excuse me. Me and Beck are bards. Beck is a fucking valor bard because they're all about big speeches and shit like that. <laughs> oh, that's a good joke. I am apparently an oddly specific fae. <laughs> no, the theater stuff. I, lo I love you back. Okay, where to next? Oh, I gotta be outside. No, wait, Beck's a lore fucking lore bard. Beck's a fucking lore bard. That's what Beck is. Guys, what's Gordy? <laughs> I'm a Valor Bard now, that's it. Oh no, you're rock. I don't know why I thought he was electric. I think he reminds me of an electric type trainer from another game. Make you fight the rock type, Sage. <laughs> I have many other Pokemon that can fight the rock type. You are fine. <sighs> I'm just gonna send Lark at it. Oh, hi, Gigalith. I'm actually debating getting shield for Alistar though. I really like him. I, le I like me my ghost types. Ghosties are my babies. Also fucking bye! What was that? That Gigalith had really- Glasses sucks. Please 
please stop? And now Gordy is looking after it. It's fine. Okay, let's go see, uh, Bede. No bully. Uh, I do actually need sage here. There we go. Don't say it like that, you bastard. <laughs> This isn't... This isn't the time, baby. This isn't the fucking time. Now isn't the time! Dude! Well, I'm glad I came here last. But, uh, it is steel, which means you don't work. Very psychic.
Yeah, and mobile steel. That's why I had to swap it out. Uh, steel fairy. Rapidash is a fairy type in this one. Rapidash is a fairy type. I just about swapped out, <laughs> thinking that it was a fire. Oops. That could have been bad. I mean, fairy types are pretty strong. We all saw what they did to the fucking meta during X and Y. But now everyone knows how to deal with them. <laughs> Pokemon. I was gonna heal, but I really don't need to heal on his last Pokemon. Yeah, but I'm the champion. Like... champion you're a gym leader don't act like you're shit time when the show was popular who gives a shit anymore like I don't I don't really understand why cringe culture still continues to be a thing let people like whatever the fuck they want who cares as long as it's not actively hurting someone who gives a damn? Oh god, Beck, what is this? hate cringe culture. Oh boy, let's 
let's not get into that right now. Let's not get into that whole can of worms right now. But like, I feel like I've talked about this before. I fucking hate cringe culture. Because it, I don't understand why we as a society can't just let people like things. It's easy. It's not hurting you that someone watches a TV show, or plays a video game, or listens to a band, or reads a series of books, or something like that. It's not actively hurting you. So why do you care? Why do we care so much about tiny, insignificant shit? Who cares whether someone enjoys watching a TV show after... at the end of the fucking day. Sorry, I, I get really opinionated about that kind of shit, but it actively, like, pisses me off because I don't... I don't get it. Like, I get that there was the whole, like, weird side of the brony shit and like that was uncool that shit is not good but like there's also the side of it that's like who cares whether someone watches a stupid tv show oh no someone enjoyed themselves for half an hour. Huh? Oh no, I should go heal up. No, 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 we're gonna go heal up. It's not even that parents won't understand. It's the fact that fucking Twitter mobs will go after you if you say you enjoy a TV show, or if you say you enjoy a, a movie, or a video game, or anything. It's the fact that our society has been so built up on judging people for the things they enjoy that we now have a problem with people actually genuinely enjoying those things not being judged the second they say, Oh, I... I'm gonna go into this personally. I fucking loved Voltron. I still fucking love Voltron. But the fact that there is such a stigma against that show because one subset of the community did a bunch of shit that, like, the second I say, I love Voltron, I liked Voltron, Everyone gets on my ass about it. And I hate that. Like... I am- I'm not getting into that. Because I have opinions about it, and I am not getting fucking into it right now. But like, I was a Homestuck back in the day. There are all these people who judge people for liking Homestuck, and there's like... There's so many fucking problems with with everything to do with cringe culture and I I fucking hate it I absolutely hate it it's a major problem with the internet being more widespread nowadays and I I'm angry I'm angry because I enjoy things and the internet won't let you have that. Ever. And that's different. Like, that's a different thing. My issue is... Oh, I don't fucking give a shit. I don't give a shit. I was active in that fandom longer than most of them were born. Um... Uh... 
Um, that was one of the best seats. Okay, we're not talking about full drop. No, I veered us off course of the message. <laughs> I veered us off course of my message. What do you mean, huh? What do you mean, Havel? Me saying that I was in that fandom longer than most people were born? Cause I'm right, cause I used to watch the original show when I was a kid. Yeah, message, don't hobby shame. If you have an issue with a TV show because of aforementioned that- the reason that Garrett mentioned up there that got eaten by the- the messages, that's like, being forced to watch it on repeat? That's fine, if you're not into it. But don't, like, hobby shame someone for not- for- for enjoying something that is not hurting you. Like, as long as it doesn't actively hurt someone. Empire and Voltron in later seasons. I don't give a shit, I just don't want to talk about the show right now. <laughs> I just don't want to talk about the show at large. I had a message and I'm getting off message because now I'm talking about TV shows. Yeah, like, you don't like Oron for similar reasons to what Garrett mentioned above there, but you don't give me shit for absolutely fucking loving that show. It is my- one of my absolute, um, uh, guilty pleasure shows. It's so dumb and so stupid. But it's fun, and that's why I enjoy it. Like, people can just like things. That was the point that I was making. Oh, excuse me. Okay. You wanna fucking go? I took a step forward and he like shifted. I paid attention to like none of that dialogue. I was totally ranting. I'm sorry, y'all. Oh, this thing's back. The Chad bird is back, guys. A minor god. Minor deity. territory of uh Pokemon where they just send dudes at you for a what the fuck how many times do I have to teach you this lesson weird man I have nothing that's super effective against this thing okay Save scum. Unless I'm playing Persona. 
That's different. <laughs> Don't lie to this chat. Wow. to the chat, but I would never save scum in Pokemon. Hello! Welcome, welcome to the stream. We're just beating up a man with a terrible haircut. Wait, what was he? I'm just gonna keep this. Oh, Glissopod. Uh, I should actually have swapped in this. There are some people who do that for uh, shiny hunting legendaries and like I can vibe with that. Nah, it's it's people who shiny hunt legendaries. That's the only thing I can think of that people who would. And like, if that's what you want to spend your day doing, go for it. Get my boy bag. You're fine. Sorry, I don't know why I'm like hard concentrating on this stupid fight. Okay, come on. What does first impression do? Priority. Okay, that's what I thought. Okay, good enough for me. Uh, big stretch. Dude, like, what do you think you're doing? Uh, 
I don't know what these two are doing. Do I have to heal up? I do have to fucking go heal up. What sure shit ain't their best mood? If that's their best, I'm horrified. Could I have talked to Sonya and she would have healed me? I probably could have talked to Sonya and she would have healed me. Mood. Horror appointed? Disified? I have not. I, I mostly only play Pokemon like once a week and it's, it's this. If you're talking about Animal Crossing, absolutely. And uh, Zipper T Rabbit is destroying our economy and ecosystem. Oh, that sounds insane! What the fuck? <sighs> no! like that. as well. Oh boy. Oh, what is this? I'm sorry, I want to listen to this music for a sec. Oh, this is a jam! Sorry, I, I, like, I love the music in this game. The music in this game is absolutely beautiful. Also, can I catch this one? Cause this one isn't mine. Okay, I can't. I didn't think so. The base is just having fun. The base is just having a, a great day overall. Yeah, I don't think I can I can catch this one. I don't think I can catch this boy because he's not my boy. I have the the sword one. Huh? I have sword. 
So I will have the sword boy. Oh, there's some super effective. What's your hot take? Call of Duty games, though. I can't catch this boy, unfortunately. that would give better quality I'm into I'm all for it um my issue yeah I wouldn't mind an annual Pokemon game I wouldn't mind a Pokemon game every two years or so that wouldn't be too bad Technically, that would give the devs four years to work on one if they switched up devs each time, though. So, like, I'd be into it. Oh, I forgot about that. I forgot Sledgehammer did a couple of them. There'll never not be crunch in the gaming industry, unfortunately. And I fucking hate it. I really wanted to go into uh, doing character design and stuff for a long time. But fuck that. Hello, Zacian. It is time. Those are completely separate teams, though. Hello, my sword doggo. Wait, why is that? Oh no. My snob's about to get bullied. I can just... Just say fuck it. Nah. fun in that. Ow! Uh, 
Okay, we are not gonna get into that tonight. That is a little too much for me tonight. How about we don't compare games that are completely different genres? And have completely different audiences. I don't know why it feels fitting to uh, try and catch this boy with my starter. Yeah, I was like, that's not gonna happen, is it? I don't want to get into all that drama. We ain't gonna, we ain't gonna have drama here tonight. I would be shocked if the first Pokeball did it too. try and ow how dare you okay ow that would have kept up the theme of my playthrough very much so around first pokeball catching everything in the first two routes that's that's my luck with this game oh my snob leveled up oh you're a fairy type i can't give this mythical beast a nickname ah uh, but you are going in the box <laughs> because face it. Because the Gilded Wield is a uh, cool face it. I love Faye. I love face it. I have a D&D &D character like legit based around face it. I am out of water. Yeah, uh, one of my new, new D&D &D characters, his name is, uh, Ushin. He got caught in the Feywild for, like, 150 years. And got, like, spit out, and now he just wants to go back because he doesn't remember anything before it because of amnesia bullshit. And I love him. I love him so much. He's here, he is stuck, and he wants to go home. Excuse me. Where are ya? Slumber and wield. Let's go. Lego. What's new? Yeah, I like that. The one all the way in the PC. 
They assume that you uh, kept the legendary in your team. And don't have an awesome badass team already. Hello, buddies. Hello, tiny buddy. Okay, let's keep moving. We're gonna try and finish out this, uh, oh, hey, Sonia. Oh wow, you just let me pass through all of that. Thank you, ma'am. Oh, he pissed. Aww. Hobbs got this. Big dog go. They a woo. Nice. He bork. I love dogs. I I do not see my doggo as much as I used to because he is upstairs and I am downstairs and he cannot climb down the stairs. The poor baby can't get down the stairs. Oh boy, are we gonna fight? You wanna fight? Let's fight. Oh, should I have Zacian for this? Oops. Nope, he is still using his stupid double. here for a bit. Oh yeah, we are probably gonna get Diamond Pearl Platinum this gen. I'd be into that. Hop, I am going to kick your ass. I just cracked my elbow and it felt really good. His double is nice.
He's a fluffy boy. Wanna heal? I can heal too. Yes, hello. Say hello to my boy. You have met him before. Say hello to my son. Oh, that was a good pop. Holy shit. Oops. Ow. That felt really good for a second and then hurt for a second. really work. It really does. He's just a sad long boy. get it from the beginning in this. Well, I was wrong. It's not a water type. Everything. Wait, really? Apparently, everywhere sold out of switches. I remember reading that somewhere. Oh no. Huh? 
I think I bought a used PS4 off a buddy of mine for like 150 bucks and he put a new hard drive in it and everything. <laughs> so like, that sucks. I really need something with a uh, fighting type move. Why do I not have anything that has fighting type moves? What am I doing? I have nothing in my party with fighting moves. May I, uh, for anyone who is looking for a console and cannot find one, May I extol the virtue of books? <laughs> Many book. Many different type of book. Like, I have been playing the shit out of Animal Crossing because I actually have time outside of work and streaming to play games for myself. It's so weird. Like, I've come back to a lot of games that I dropped just because I didn't have the time for them. And now I'm sitting here like, huh, I just play some games with my day. Which was something I really, like, wasn't used to, if that makes sense. Well, you can also do that. <laughs> say that. Renee's bad at video games that are not turn-based. Seriously, give me a good turn-based RPG. I am amazing at that. I haven't played it, but I have a, fre a group of friends who played it together. This thing's probably a steel type, isn't it? Ugh, my nose is itchy. You know what, I'm gonna see if I can res my boy here. Uh, 
Um, but yeah, I have a group of friends who had a, like, Divinity Original Sin group going for a while. This is gonna hurt. Okay, not as bad as I thought it would. Well, fuck you! Okay. Oh no. Oh no! Oh shit! Oh no, I'm down to this fucking snob that I kept in my party as partly a joke. Oh no. Oh no. Oh fuck. I'm sorry, baby. Really? That was unnecessary. That was unnecessary, sir. Sir, that was extremely unnecessary. Oh god. This thing's gonna fucking wipe me. Oh, paralysis, thank god. That means I might have a second to get my boy back? Maybe? This is the only way I'm gonna beat this thing. I don't have a lot I can do here. Shit. I knew he had this thing. I don't know why I didn't bring my my Zacian. I need to hope for a super effective or a crit here. Or the paralysis to take. Fuck me. Okay. Mm-hmm. That thing can just one-shot me. I might be fucked here. Because the only thing that I have that's actually super effective uh, just got its ass kicked. I don't have a ton of potions with me. Healer. You hop. Wow, this sucks. Ow.
am I cheesing this fight a little bit? Possibly. Oh my god! Stop! I just want to kill this stupid dog. Boosting and healing. I hate this fight. I hate this fight. Kill me. Yep. Okay. I think I took out most of its crunch uses though. So maybe it won't have any to use on my my baby. Maybe. Fuck. Oh no. This is all I have left. Like, the only way I'm gonna get through this is to have Inferno. shot my bug I really should have swapped out my stupid snom that I was only keeping in my party as a fucking Funny bullshit thing. Okay. Come on. I love Snom, but it's fucking terrible. Like, how many fucking uses does Crunch have? I'm sorry, I need to look this up. How many fucking uses does this move have? 15. It has been way more than 15. Hop is now kicking my ass. Like, this thing can one-shot pretty much everything I have, and that's what's pissing me off.
I'm getting lucky with this paralysis. Because I made him blow his full restore really early. He blew his full restore on his fucking Wooloo. Maybe you'll blow another- yeah! Oh no. Oh, this is gonna hurt, isn't it? Oh, it didn't kill me. He's not winning this one. This is mine. That's hubris. I need to shut up before he eats my bug for lunch. legend as always I do not know why I doubted him I do not know why I ever doubted him wash is always eternally a fucking legend I don't know why I doubted him. Zap cannon! Sure. Fuck no! Oh, excuse me. Fuck no, because that accuracy is horrible! gonna hug. Let me hug my friend Pokemon. Let me hug my best friend Pokemon. Aw, that's cute. I love them. Honestly, okay, hear me out here. They do what they did with black and white, give us a direct sequel, make us fight your trainer. It takes the save data from your Pokemon, from your, from your sword and shield, uh, save, and makes you fight your trainer with like your team whatever team you left on there just like 
buffed up to whatever level. I know it is. Whatever team you won the the championship with. Yeah, the first league championship. would fuck over competitive trainers, but too fucking bad. still needs to get some real pants, but, uh... I think that's about all the post-game, right? Yeah, the end. Yeah, that's post-game. So next time we play Pokemon, we'll be, uh, running around dex hunting then. Unless the DLC's out by then. That's kind of a lame postgame. I want more. I want more about this world. I want more lore. We could do Battle Tower, though. Do we want to do Battle Tower next week, or do we want to do Dex Hunting next week? Huh? Let's check out all the League cards we got. Huh? Hop, you legend! Guys, Hop is a legend. Oh, sir. I didn't actually look at like all my league cards before. Yeah, I think that's gonna be where we leave off for tonight, though. That was super fun. I really enjoyed this game. I love playing Pokemon. I haven't had fun playing a Pokemon th game this much since... Probably Black and White. I really liked Black and White. I don't know, X and Y and Sun and Moon weren't my favorite out there. That's personal opinion, though. I know a lot of people who really like both of them, so, like, to each your own. But, yeah, I, this game was fun. I really like, I really like it a lot. But yeah, next week we're gonna either do Dex Hunting or Battle Tower, I'm not sure which yet. We'll do one of those two things. Unless the DLC is out, then we'll do DLC. Um, but yeah, that should be it for everything for tonight. Um, next stream's gonna be Wednesday night. I'm gonna do an art stream. 
because I have not be- No! No! Fuck! Next stream's tomorrow night. We're playing more Final Fantasy. I forgot about Tuesdays. Yeah, tomorrow night we're gonna- we're gonna play Final Fantasy. That's what we're gonna do. Uh, and I'm not streaming on Wednesday because I have D&D on Wednesday. But yeah, uh, yeah, tomorrow's Tuesday, right? Oh my god, my days are all fucked right now. Uh, but yeah, next stream's gonna be tomorrow night. We're playing some more Final Fantasy XV and trying to kick some more of that out of the park. Um, I'm gonna start a bit earlier than I usually do tomorrow night so we can power through a bit more of the game. So I'm gonna be starting two hours before I usually start. So that's 8 p.m. Uh, Central Standard? Am I in Central Standard right now? I'm not sure what time zones, how time zones work. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna be starting two hours before I normally would just because I really wanna get a good crack at Final Fantasy because it takes a long ass time. So we're gonna be there for a while tomorrow night. Um, but yeah, outside of that, I am gonna be hoping to stream a little bit more uh, consistently than I have been just because I have a lot more time right now so may as well you know um, if you're new to the stream and enjoy it definitely feel free to give me a follow that'll get you stream notifications so you know whenever I go live as well if you look at the links down below the stream there there's a link to my YouTube that has all my stream VODs uploaded to it so if you ever miss a stream you can check it out there as well as my discord is just kind of a chill place where we all hang out have a good time all that sort of stuff Starting Hawaiian time, it means you start when you start. Oh, mood. Um, but yeah, that should be it for everything for tonight. Love you guys. Have a good night, everyone.